Hello, this is Blake Graham, Triple Diamond with Longevity, and I'm here today with Dr. Peter Glidden. How are you today, Dr. Glidden? Fantastic, Blake. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. <laughs> Thank you. We're excited today to share with all of the people that are listening to this CD information on the products. Now, by this time, they probably heard the best of Dead Doctors Don't Lie, your CD on Who Made MD's King, and uh, they're ready for some information specifically on products. So before we jump into that, I would like to give people some background on who you are and your experience. Fantastic. Well, that's easy. I'm a licensed naturopathic physician. I graduated from Bastyr University of Naturopathic Medicine in Seattle in 1991. Before that, I did my pre-med at the University of Massachusetts in Amherst. I graduated there in 1987, and that's an interesting story. I was doing my pre-med to be a conventional medical doctor. And it was three months before I was set to graduate in my senior year. I became very sick. I got sick, and nobody could help me. I had fever. I had chills. I couldn't keep anything down. I had a little bit of digestive upset. I mean, and I was going from bad to worse, and nobody could help me. The last four days of the illness, I was basically just languishing in bed. Now, I knew some people at the time who knew a naturopathic doctor who lived in the same town that I did, and irony of ironies, in 1987 there were only two naturopathic physicians in the entire state of Massachusetts, Wow! and one of them happened to live in the town that I lived in. It was a, uh, uh, you know, a college town, right? Big university, a number of big universities all around this town. So in any event, I'd been in bed for four days, more or less. I was carried into this doctor's office by two friends of mine. I'll never forget it. I had an arm around each of their shoulders. And this doctor, he, he, his office was up a, it was in an old building. They didn't have an elevator, and it was on the second floor. I'll never forget walking up those long sets of stairs with an arm around each of my buddies going to this doctor's office. And, you know, I'll admit it, I was a an arrogant pre-med student, you know, uh, that type of education kind of breeds that. And I didn't know who this guy was, and I didn't know what a naturopath was, but I was pretty sure he was a quack. But I had nothing to lose, right? right. And I trusted the advice of the friend who said I should go give this guy a try, so I did. So I met the doctor. He was like an old-fashioned country doctor. He's since become a, a good friend of mine. Put me on an exam table, poked around, drew some blood, asked me some questions, looked at a couple of books, asked me some more questions, scratched his chin, and gave me a medicine. He gave me a homeopathic medicine, and nothing happened. He scratched his chin, poked around again, asked me some more questions, gave me a different medicine, and about two minutes after I swallowed that second medicine, my entire body started shaking like a leaf. I went into the restroom and threw up this disgusting, bilious sludge, probably about half a quart. I mean, it was a lot of stuff came out. And as soon as that stuff left my body, I felt like somebody had unrolled a Venetian blind from my toes all the way to my head. And hallelujah, I was cured. Wow. I was carried into the guy's office. I walked out of it. I went home, I slept for, I don't know, 16 hours or something like that. I woke up the next day born again. And at that moment in time, everything in my brain changed. And, and uh, you know, I lost my prejudice. I, uh, I, I kind of woke up to the wonderful potential of holistic medicine. And four months later, I was a freshman at Naturopathic Medical School where this doctor went. Wow. Yeah, it was a life, a radical, life-changing event. And, and as you know, as fate would have it, when I was at Naturopathic Medical School for those four years, uh, I had the distinct sense that I was in the right place at the right time doing exactly the right thing. And it was some of the best four years of my life. I mean, it was just fantastic, my educational experience there. Well, for only two doctors in the state, and one of them to be there at the time when you needed it, and you happened to need him at that time, I mean, you call it destiny, call it divine intervention. It sounds like you were meant to be in this profession. Absolutely. And you know what they say, how do you make God laugh? <laughs> Tell him your future plans, right? I had no idea. <laughs> 
So it was really a great thing, and so I'm a you know I'm a dyed in the wool naturopathic physician based on personal experience, and so you know it's really been a very rewarding thing for me, and I can't be happier to be a, a naturopathic doctor. As a naturopathic doctor, you do a lot with helping the body heal itself by giving it the right nutrients. Absolutely. So naturopathic doctors, right, are the only doctors in the United States, it's the only physician level training that actually teaches science-based, medically verified, safe and effective alternatives to drugs and surgery. We're taught clinical nutrition. We're taught botanical medicine. We're taught homeopathy. We're taught hydrotherapy and old-fashioned naturopathic cleansing techniques. All of these techniques are designed with one goal. That goal is to support and promote the body's ability to fix itself. Let me tell you something. When you do that, remarkable, life-altering, positive things happen. Now, as a naturopath, Dr. Glenn, you've also been involved in making sure that naturopathic doctors get approved in various states. You've been successful in four states already. Yeah, this is a big thing that nobody really talks a lot about, you know, and it's a problem in the United States because our access to health care is limited. As a naturopathic physician in the state of Washington, for instance, where I lived and worked for a number of years, I can deliver babies, prescribe drugs, order any diagnostic test I want, do minor surgery, work in hospitals, and it's all covered by insurance. And I can legally refer to myself as a physician. If I was to do exactly the same thing in the state of Illinois, for instance, I'd be fined $5,000 and sent to jail for a year for practicing medicine without a license. So let's get this straight. Just by crossing state lines, all of a sudden I become persona non grata and a danger to the community, and that's just nonsense. Currently, as of 2011, naturopathic medicine is licensed in 16 states only in the United States. The American Medical Association has a funded branch whose job it is to impede the licensure of naturopathic medicine in states where we are not licensed. It's a problem. Most people don't know about it. And Dr. Wallach has done a lot to get naturopathic medicine licensed in different states around the United States, as have I. It's a mission, uh, you know, because we are ch trying to change the way that medicine is practiced here and wake people up to the, the reality that their choices in medicine are limited. Now, as a naturopathic physician, not only are you taught clinical nutrition, but you've also had a lot of experience in actually looking at supplements. Are all supplements created equal? No, all supplements are not created equal, and this is a very good thing to talk about. You know, the, the proof of the pudding is in the eating, and the devil is in the details. Nutritional supplements are, you know, like chicken soup. The recipe is everything. The quality of the ingredients, how they're put together, how they're stored, how they're bottled. There are a number of variables that come into play that will make supplement A really good or really bad depending on the recipe. Uh, vitamin companies don't like me very much. I'm pretty well known in this industry and I've been doing it for over two decades. I've come up with a questionnaire that I have the vitamin companies that I want to use their products. I, it's a questionnaire that I have them fill out. And it is designed for me to see exactly what their production methodology is, what their quality control procedures are, and the whole kit and caboodle. It's designed to help me objectively be able to assess how good their recipes are. I've checked over 200 vitamin companies in the last 20 years, and only three have passed my test. That's three. One, two, three. And the top dog, hands down, way out in front of everybody else, longevity. So do the quality of the vitamins make a difference in the results that your patients see? It's a big deal. You know, uh, the perfect example of this would be uh, calcium. An average calcium supplement, even made by one of my top three companies, a good calcium supplement, if you're lucky, is going to be about 60% absorbable. Longevity's calcium, 98% absorbable. There's a big difference between 60 and 98%, especially when we're talking about 
rebuilding bone, rebuilding cartilage, and jump-starting the body's ability to fix itself. You need to maximize as much as you can. You need to get in there as much as you can. And if you're going to spend hard-earned money on a nutritional supplement, you want as much bang for your buck as you can possibly get. So you want to have an excellent recipe that's easy to absorb and that produces consistent results. And I got to tell you something, nobody does it better than Dr. Wallach and Longevity. So when you look at Dr. Wallach's products then, is it just the theory and his experience that makes it different or does he actually do things in the production of it that set these products apart? Well, both. Dr. Wallach and Longevity do a lot of things that set them apart from every other company. And I think, to me, it's a combination of two things. Number one, the research that informs the recipes is unmatched. I mean, how can anybody, how can any company compete with $25 million of federally funded research over 12 years, 26,000 autopsies, 10 million blood chemistries and histopathologies combined with over 30 years of clinical experience with medical nutrition. Nobody can compete with that, and that's the fundamental reason why Dr. Wallach's recipes and the longevity formulas are so very effective, because longevity has formulations that are different from every other company's formulations, and the recipe, the formulation, is everything. Now, when you marry excellent recipes based on unmatchable research and clinical experience with fantastic quality control, that's a home run and Longevity does both and that's why nobody can even come close to producing the effectiveness for chronic disease that Longevity products do. And I know with Dr. Wallach one of the things that uh, I always talk with people about is because he's a veterinarian and not just a veterinarian, the veterinarian that helped increase and double, almost triple the lifespan of our pets, that uh, he has access to centuries and centuries and centuries of veterinarian science that most nutritional companies will never, ever even take a look at. This is another 300-pound gorilla in the wonderful world of modern science. We are led to believe that scientists are open-minded people. And, you know, it was a big shock to me when I figured out that just the opposite is true. Most scientists become very close-minded as they march down the road of their professional career. You know, it's easy to become wrapped up in your own point of view so that you're just automatically dismissing all other points of view and you don't even know that you're doing it. A perfect example of this is the non-relationship that exists between veterinarian science and human science. Really, Dr. Wallach's $25 million federally funded research projects conclusively prove that nutritional deficiencies produce extreme negative effects across species lines. It didn't matter if it was a bat, a buffalo, a boa constrictor, or a human. If there was a calcium deficiency, that animal or that person got sick, suffered, and then died. It didn't matter what species it was. And there are very few scientists or, or even fewer doctors that are able to kind of see through the prejudice that separates these two systems of medicine. Dr. Wallach's the only one that I know that's been able to do it. So because of his open-mindedness and because of his attention to detail and fact, he was able to use all of this information from animal science and marry it with all of the research done on human nutrition. And that's the major reason why the longevity products are so fantastic. And veterinarian science, I know, is always focused on results because the veterinarians don't really worry about what the animals want to buy. It's, a, <laughs> it's about whether or not they get results because farmers yeah. don't want to pay extra money for things that don't get results. Right, and there's no placebo effect, right, in yeah. veterinarian medicine. That's one thing. The other thing is, and this, again, is something that's really quite startling when you think about it. I've been doing clinical work for 22 years now with vitamins and nutritional supplements and botanical medicine. And Longevity and Dr. Wallach is the only company and the only doctor that I've ever met, and I've met a lot of people, 
that teach the dose dependent method. You know, somebody who's 100 pounds is going to need less nutrition than someone who's 300 pounds and vice versa. Just like bigger cars need more gas. Absolutely. You know, veterinarians know this. Veterinarians attend to this. And this is just a normal thing in veterinarian medicine that a three pound dog is going to need a different formulation of vitamins than a 73 pound dog. And so they get it. It's all based on the animal's body weight. Well, Dr. Wallach is the only one that carries that over into the humans. And it's really startling to me that nobody else does this because it makes all the difference in the world. You know, clinical nutrition produces results based on it's a dose dependent phenomenon. If you're not taking enough, or you're not absorbing enough appropriate for your body weight, you're spitting into the wind and you might as well not do it. It's extremely important to get enough of the stuff based on your body weight. And Dr. Wallach is the only one that's talking about that. So when you look at high quality supplements, what are some of the things that you look at that someone listening to this is going to be able to take and compare Dr. Wallach's products versus anything else on the shelves and see a huge difference? Well, look, this is the problem because the average consumer cannot do that. There's no way that anybody can tell just by looking at the label what's a high quality product and what's not. And that's the problem. That's exactly the problem. Listen, there, just think about it this way. You know, let's say we want to get a vitamin C supplement, right? So first, we have to go and find the person that's extracting the vitamin C. Well, are they extracting it from oranges? Are they extracting it from sugar cane? Where is it coming from? What's the stuff that they're extracting it from grown? What are the conditions in which it's grown in? Is it organic? Is it non-organic? What are the conditions of the horticulture that goes into the growth of the raw material source? That's important, an important thing. How, what's the method of extraction? How is it stored? Where is it stored? How is it transported? Most supplements like this, vitamin C, for example, will be you know extracted in South America someplace, and then it's shipped to an international holding place, and then the international holding company ships it to the United States or to Canada or wherever it goes. Then once it's in the United States, uh, it gets shipped to the company that buys it. So the longevity company will buy it from a company in the United States that imported it. Now anywhere along this supply chain, something can go wrong unless the company has all their ducks in the row. In this economy especially, companies don't want to do all of the testing and have all of the oversight necessary in order to ensure, A, that it's really vitamin C that I've received in my plant in the United States, and B, that it's high quality. It hasn't gone rancid. It hasn't been contaminated, and it's pure and potent. Most companies don't do all of the testing necessary, and so it's kind of a crapshoot. So they just take the label at face value. Yes. But longevity doesn't do that. They no. actually do their own independent testing to verify that they've got the right stuff and it's the right quality. Correct. And there's not a lot of companies that do that. But the average consumer, just looking at the label, would be completely in the dark as to whether all of this had happened or not. And the government is just not doing as good a job as they could in regulating this entire industry. That's why, you know, I've looked at longevity's quality control. I've done a detailed analysis of it. I've seen what they do. And that's the only way, regretfully, that anybody will be able to determine the purity and the potency and the efficacy of any vitamin supplement. You know, there really should be labeling requirements and more stringent labeling laws, but there just aren't. Yeah, the FTC should be able to regulate that, but they actually don't look into most products to see whether or not what's on the label is actually in the bottle. Well, you know, the Los Angeles Times about 20 years ago did a very interesting thing. They sent an investigative journalist into health food stores in California. And remember, this is 20 years ago, more or less. They randomly took ginkgo biloba supplements off the shelf. You know, ginkgo biloba is an herb that was very popular a couple of decades ago. It was thought to promote memory, right? And they took all these random samples of ginkgo to a lab and they tested them. 9% had nothing in it. It was filler. No ginkgo at all. Just the label. Just on the label. 
twelve percent of the ginkgo that they took off of the shelves in health food stores had less than half the milligram dosage that the label claimed it had. So the label said five hundred milligrams per cap. And it was under two hundred fifty, and it's a problem, right? Mm -hmm. Now Ralph Nader's people have done similar checks on vitamin companies, and the industry is just not regulated. And because you know it's a for-profit industry, companies, if they don't have integrity, are going to cut corners. You know, they're going to test the stuff once instead of five times. They're going to send it to labs that just rubber stamp the samples instead of really doing valid scientific testing. There are a number of ways that you can kind of get around the quality control issue and still be able to put a supplement on the shelf and have it be in compliance with federal regulations. It's a big problem. Longevity actually went the extra mile and submitted their products to the FDA for review and the FDA verified that everything that was on the label was in the product and we actually exceeded label standards. And that's why I love Longevity. One of the things I think that anybody can do to see if they have the highest quality stuff is just like you said the proof of the pudding is in the eating of it. That's correct. Whether or not they get results. Correct. And so if you're taking supplements and you're not getting results in your experience they need to switch to Dr. Wallach's products. Well, absolutely. Now, I'll tell you a funny story, right? I had a patient who had a relative who owned a porta potty business in Florida. And I was having a conversation with, with this guy, and he said, You know, in Florida, we call porta potties vitamin machines. I said, What are you talking about? He said, Well, we go to empty them out, and out come vitamins. I said, How do you know they're vitamins? He said, We can still read the label on the vitamin. <laughs> That's because the vitamins that, you know, everybody in Florida is taking from over-the-counter sales at, you know, GNC and vitamin stores and health food stores and supermarkets are of such poor quality that they can't digest them. So they swallow the pill and it passes right through and comes out the other end. That's a 100% a function of bad recipe and bad quality control. And this is why this absorbability issue, right, is one of the reasons why a lot of Longevity's products are in liquid form. Because liquid vitamins are the most easily absorbable vitamins and nutritional supplements that you can get. Dr. Wallach is a genius. He made the vitamins in liquid and powder form that turns into a liquid on purpose. It wasn't by accident. And it makes a difference. And nutrition can only help you <clears throat> when you absorb it. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, tell us about your exposure to Dr. Wallach, because I know you originally had Dr. Wallach's CD 19 years ago. Yeah. Didn't listen to it. Rub it in, Blake. Rub it in. <laughs> well, I know it took me three times. Maybe you didn't get three back then. But, uh, what was it that actually got you to take a look at Dr. Wallach's protocols, his supplements? That's a good question. I think it was timing. You know, the naturopathic medical community is very small. It's bigger now than it was when I was a freshman and even when I graduated. It's a very small profession and everybody knew everybody. So I knew who Dr. Wallach was, but all I really knew about him was that he was a naturopathic doctor who had a networked vitamin business and I had a built-in a priori prejudice against networked businesses and I have no idea why. I, I really don't know why that existed for me, but it did. Because of that prejudice, you didn't even take a look at Dr. Wallach's programs or his products. Boy, I'm kicking myself now. I didn't even take a look, right? Because my prejudice stopped me. It got in the way. If I remember the story right, you're at a, a health conference and you run into Dr. Wallach and he invites you to come to a meeting. Yeah, well, it's a little more complicated than that. I'm at an annual naturopathic medical conference and I just checked in. I think it was someplace in Seattle, and I had been living in Massachusetts, so I, you know, I had a long flight and I was kind of tired. I just checked in, and I was sitting on the couch in the main reception area for the conference. And Dr. Wallach comes marching by. He waves at me and marches by, and then he stops, turns around, comes over, bends over, looks at me, and says, I want to tell you what we're doing. Come down to Kankakee next week and Kankakee was very close to where I was living at the time and I'll show you what we're doing what do you have to lose I said okay doc I'm in I don't know why I said that 
I think it was just because I trusted him. You know, I was listening. I was open. I was receptive, and I trusted him. So I went to Kankakee, and that's the day my head exploded. <laughs> Your head exploded. What do you mean? Your head exploded. <laughs> Well, here I am. You know, I'm a naturopathic physician, right? I've got two decades of clinical experience. And, you know, whenever anybody has a medical degree, let's face it, there's a little bit of hubris that comes along with that. You know, there's a little bit of self-importance, I think. So, you know, I thought that I was a pretty talented doctor. I mean, I'd gotten good clinical results. And here I am in Kankakee. And I'm the only doctor in the room other than Dr. Wallach. There's probably 45 lay people in the room who have had better results than I have with type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, and arthritis. And they were lay people. And they had also helped more people in their lives than I had. And that's when my head exploded. What did they do? They were longevity distributors. They had heard Dr. Wallach taking the products, recovered their health, became enamored of the business message and the mission that Dr. Wallach's on and went for it. And this is a beautiful thing. And this is the thing. This is the hardest thing, I think, for people to understand that health care is easy. Healing the body is easy. You don't have to be a doctor to do it. Surgery is difficult. You need to be a doctor to do that. You know, you need to know what you're doing when you're trying to pull a bullet out of somebody's arm or remove an infected gallbladder. But helping someone to recover from a chronic disease, supporting and promoting health and recovery in the human body is easier than falling off a truck. And when I realized that, I broke through. I had a eureka moment. It was an aha moment, and my life has never been the same. And that's when you realize that... If you give the body better stuff, it does better. Absolutely. And the results that I was seeing from the people that were at the lecture were a hundred times better than anything that I had seen previously. So not only if you give the body the good stuff, it gets better, but if you give the body excellent stuff, the results are phenomenal, fantastic, and sometimes unbelievable. So you started using the products then? <clears throat> oh, yeah, and I've never looked back. Do you use them in your practice? That's the only thing that I use in my practice. It's the only thing. I threw everything else out. Why would you drink any Boone Springs green apple wine when you have access to a nice French Cabernet, right? There's a giant difference. It hasn't made a difference in the results your patients see. It's unbelievable. I mean, I don't even know what planet I'm on sometimes because I didn't think you could recover from type 2 diabetes that quickly. I didn't think you could recover from osteoporosis, osteoarthritis, high blood pressure that quickly. I didn't think you could recover from congestive heart failure and asthma that quickly. I didn't think that you could lose 130 pounds in four months. I didn't think you could do that. I didn't think you could regrow cartilage on top of a fake knee. Dr. Wallach's stuff produces such remarkable results. Sometimes I don't even know what planet I'm on anymore because I didn't think you could fix that. So let's talk now specifically about these products. There's a core that we always talk about, the 90 essential nutrients, Dr. Wallach likes to call it. Tell us a little bit about the 90 essential nutrients. What are they? What do they do in the body? Well, first of all, there are a number of classifications of nutrients that the body needs. Essential nutrients are called essential because the body cannot make them. Cholesterol, for instance, is a very important nutritional substance to the body, but the body can make it. So therefore, it's not considered essential. Essential nutrients have to be imported. This is why we need to eat food, mostly because the body has nutritional requirements that cannot it cannot meet on its own. So we got to put stuff down the hatch. The 91 essential nutrients, uh, if anybody that's listened to the Dead Doctors Don't Lie tape should know by now, 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, and 3 essential fatty acids. These are the raw materials that the human body needs every day in order to function properly. And it is impossible to get these from our food. You just can't do it. 
That's because the minerals are only in the soil, but they're not evenly spread out in the soil. So if they're not in the soil, they're not in the lettuce. If they're not in the lettuce, they're not in your body. They're not in the soil. So everybody is down half a tank or two-thirds of a tank because nobody supplements appropriately. And when people do get a clue and go to the health food store or GNC and try to get supplements, it's an inferior recipe or it's an inferior product or they're micromanaging stuff and they're just not taking enough. And so they get poor results and then they think nutrition doesn't work and it's bad. I know that I often refer to it like a restaurant just because they've eaten at one restaurant that they didn't like the taste of doesn't mean that all restaurants are bad. They might have tried supplements that didn't work for them, but it doesn't mean that no supplements will work. Yeah, that's, They just have to get the right supplements. That's correct. That's why there's an actress on TV who can say that she got osteoporosis even though she took her calcium. Well, that's like me saying... I tried to put that fire in my backyard out with water and it didn't work, but not telling you that all I used was a squirt gun. It makes a giant difference how much you take, how frequently you take it, and the whole recipe and how well your body's able to absorb it. Does everybody need the 90 essential nutrients? Oh, only if they're alive. <laughs> okay. Um, all ages? All ages, you know, actually, all ages, including prenatal. Dr. Wallach's research has shown that all birth defects, 100% of birth defects, are caused by nutrient deficiencies in the pregnant mother. So everybody needs the 91 essential nutrients every day, even unborn children. Okay, so if we're going to get all of the 90 essential nutrients and you look specifically at the products in Longevity, what is your favorite package that oh, you like to encourage people to use? That's easy. It's the Healthy Start Pack. That's one beyond tangy tangerine, uh, vitamin and amino acid and antioxidant powder, one liquid osteo FX plus, it's a liquid calcium with cofactors, in one bottle of essential fatty acid, it's called EFA Plus. That package gives all of the 91 essential nutrients in a very easy to absorb recipe. It's my it's my favorite. Let's talk first then about the Beyond Tangy Tangerine because I think that's one of the core products now in longevity and one that almost everybody starts with is because. It has 130 vitamins, minerals, amino acids, along with 115 fruits and vegetables. And it has a unique delivery system as well, this Nutra Crystal technology, brand new technology that in some ways is even a step above liquids. It's really a testament to Dr. Wallach's intelligence, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, not only the stuff that's in there, but the physical form that it's in. Those crystals weren't easy to do. It took, I think, four or five years of testing and development in order to come up with a crystalline micronutrient structure that was easy to dissolve in water and easy to absorb without losing any of its nutritive integrity. Uh, it's an unbelievable, cutting-edge, state-of-the-art nutritional supplement. And that's just because of the way that it's put together. When you add that to the stuff that's in it, there's nothing in the world that comes even close to it because with that one supplement, you get all of your vitamins, all of your minerals, and a lot of antioxidants from 115 fruits and vegetables. It's just a slam dunk as far as a nutritional supplement goes. And you know what? It tastes pretty good too. Yeah, I know that my two-year-old loves the product and asks for it uh, every day. Yeah, and that doesn't, you know, that beats a poke in the eye with a sharp stick, right? <laughs> well, I know there's a lot of nutritional products out there that she wouldn't ask for. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, to that, I know there's some calcium in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine already, but in the Healthy Start, we've got an additional product, the OsteoFX Plus, right? Yeah. If there's already calcium in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the BTT as we call it, why have an extra calcium product? Because the body requires massive amounts of calcium. Think about it. Your skeleton, calcium. Most of your cartilage, calcium. Your body needs calcium in order to regulate your heartbeat. 
Your body needs calcium in order to conduct nerve signals. Your body needs calcium in order to dilate or constrict arteries and regulate your blood pressure. There are 147 diseases that are caused by a calcium deficiency. 147. So because of all of this, Dr. Wallach knew that his calcium formula had to be extremely absorbable. One of the most absorbable forms of calcium is calcium in a liquid form. Dr. Wallach's company, Longevity, has put together a calcium, a liquid calcium supplement that's 98% absorbable. 98% absorbable. That's huge. Nobody else even comes close to that with, you know, capsules or hard-pressed tablets, right? So it's a standalone product because it's a liquid product and because the body has tremendous needs for calcium. So in order to fulfill those needs, Dr. Wallach made a standalone product that gives the body all the calcium that it needs in one container. It's just a great product. And it also has a number of cofactors that the body needs to make the calcium work in a variety of situations. Oh yeah, it has magnesium and boron and strontium and vitamin D. You know, the recipe again is the best that science has to offer and that also makes a difference. And then when you put that in a liquid form, with a form of calcium that's 98% absorbable and you also have a lot of liquid colloidal plant derived minerals also in the supplement, boy it's a slam dunk. That's probably one of the reasons that Dr. Wallach specializes in calcium deficiencies and helping people feel better when they get calcium that they can actually absorb. It's not just having some calcium, you have to have enough to do the job and you have to be able to absorb it. That's right, and this is an interesting thing to talk about also because there's a tendency in medicine now for something called fractionated nutrition. A lot of people who don't really know any better, a lot of people who aren't really versed or educated in the holistic method will start to use high doses of calcium or high doses of magnesium or high doses of vitamin C or high doses of essential fatty acids because they don't understand the holistic nature of the body that the body doesn't just need a lot of calcium the body needs calcium and the 90 other essential nutrients that it needs to absorb and metabolize and lay down and utilize the calcium it's a package deal in the body this is why we give not just calcium or even not just calcium magnesium and strontium in one formula but we give the 91 essential nutrients, which includes a 98% absorbable calcium. When you do it holistically like that, you get phenomenal results. I'm talking about fractionated nutrition, and one of the analogies we use is that nowhere in Mother Nature can you find any natural food source that only has one nutrient. Right. Exactly right. And so, you know, what we do, what naturopathic holistic physicians are trained to do, is we take our lead from Mother Nature, and that's why our therapeutics produce remarkable results. And that's why veterinarian science always does things in packages and not individual nutrients, not one nutrient at a time. Correct, because they understand the holistic, synergistic nature of medical nutrition. Well, let's talk about some of those essential fatty acids that aren't in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. It's a separate product. Why? in the healthy start, is that a separate product? Why couldn't they just throw that into one of the other products? Well, because oil and water don't mix, right? The essential fatty acids are oil. They're fish oil and plant oils in little gelatin capsules that have been processed, by the way, in nitrogen chambers, and they've been processed in nitrogen chambers so that when the oil is being squirted into the little gelatin capsule, if any gas gets in there, it's going to be nitrogen and not oxygen. Why is that important? Because oxygen oxidizes things and causes them to go rancid. This is why we do not advise using any oil in a bottle. Because, you know, if oil's in a bottle, it's exposed to air. And the longer it's exposed to air, the more it will oxidize. And the more oxidized it becomes and you consume it, you're basically pouring into your stomach free radicals which cause inflammation and tissue destruction and you're, you're shooting yourself in the foot by doing that. So when we talk about essential fatty acids, obviously the name implies that they're essential. Right. 
where do they get used in the body? Where in the body do we need essential fatty acids? Well, we need essential fatty acids in a lot of different places, but the main places that essential fatty acids produce their effectiveness and that the body uses them is in the brain, the central nervous system, and the blood, and the cardiovascular system. The body uses essential fatty acids to keep the blood thin in order to keep the blood at a healthy viscosity. This is why one of Dr. Wallach's certified health claims that he was able to secure from suing the FDA allows us to legally say that essential fatty acids significantly reduce the risk of stroke. What causes stroke? Stroke is caused by blood clotting inside your arteries and veins. What causes blood to clot inside your arteries and veins? not enough essential fatty acids. Essential fatty acids are also necessary for fatty tissue to be able to metabolize sugar optimally. It's also necessary for the integrity of cellular membranes. It's very important for a number of things. Uh, I think that we get the most bang from our buck from essential fatty acids in illnesses that involve uh, the brain, the central nervous system, and the blood. So let's talk about dosage. I know when we talk about how much nutrition to take that we often take into account the results a person wants to get as well as their budget. Right. It does them no good if they kind of load up for a couple of weeks and then don't take any supplements after that. You know, it's easy to go downhill again. Right. We want them to be able to have a dose that they can stay on. So for a lot of people that means one healthy start a month but if they want better results, then like you said, take it by body weight. For some, that could be two healthy starts a month. Yeah, the basic rule of thumb here is it's one healthy start pack per month per 100 pounds of body weight. Now, if you're 165 pounds, you're right in the middle zone there. So you can do one and a half bottles of Beyond Tangy Tangerine a month, or you can just go for it and take two. But listen, if you can't afford it, let's say you're 200 pounds, but you can only afford the 100 pound dose. Take it, because here's the situation. Everybody in the United States is nutritionally deficient. Everybody is. It is impossible to get all 91 essential nutrients from food. You can not do it. Everybody is down a half a tank or two thirds of a tank in their nutritional zone. So because everybody needs the 91 essential nutrients, even if you can't take the recommended amount for your body weight, it's good to take some because you need it. And your body will suck it up and it will use it to the degree that it can use it. It's better to have a little than to have none. Along those lines of it's better to have some than nothing, if somebody can't afford the Healthy Start, you know, they've got the option obviously of stretching one Healthy Start pack over two months, which is still not the optimal amounts, but it's something. But there's another package that Dr. Wallach likes to call the Classic 90. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. That has a smaller bottle of EFAs, and it's the regular EFAs instead of the EFA Plus, so it's not quite as strong EFAs. But it also has the Classic. What is the Classic? The Ultimate Classic is a fantastic supplement because it covers all of your bases, of course, except for the EFAs, which are uh, packaged with it. So in the Ultimate Classic, you get all of your mineral needs met, all of your vitamin needs met, all of your amino acid needs met, and as a bonus, there are 600 milligrams of calcium per ounce. Calcium, again, that's 98% absorbable. So it's a fantastic product for people that are on a limited budget because you get everything that you need in one shot. All right. Well, I know in my 14 years of experience uh, working with Dr. Wallach since 1997 that uh, still there's nothing that comes close to the healthy start as far as people being able to take it because they like the taste, you've got great nutrition in there. And so from here on out, when we talk about the 90, 91 essential nutrients, we're going to refer to that as the healthy start. Great. Okay? And if those people... Um, for budgetary reasons, they're going to be using the Classic 90. They're going to just make that analogy on their own. But let's talk about the concerns that we come across often and what people should take for that. Now, on everything, no matter what somebody has, whether they're healthy or they have a health concern, everybody needs the 90 essential nutrients every single day. Absolutely. I mean, you need to breathe every day. 
You need to eat every day. You need to drink water every day. You need your 91 essential nutrients. That's why they're called essential. Absolutely, positively, every single day. Well, we know that the mineral that our bodies use the most of is calcium. And we see a lot of calcium deficiencies. Uh, Dr. Wallach mentioned there's 148 different diseases that can develop from calcium deficiencies. So, Dr. Glidden, if you had a calcium deficiency, in addition to the healthy start, what would you take? I did have a calcium deficiency. It was a big problem for me. I had a lot of uh, dental cavities and I had chronic low back pain and I had muscles that would go into spasm all the time. These are all calcium deficiency diseases and they're gone because I took the 91 essential nutrients, extra calcium, you know, the, the Osteo FX Plus. But so you, you took the healthy start. Right. And to that, are there other products that you added? Oh, yeah. We add the glucogel because the glucogel contains the cofactors that your cartilage needs in order to be healthy. And I know when you use the glucogel, the dosage is real important here. And Dr. Wallach likes to say if you're trying to rebuild anything, at least eight glucogel a day. Were you using high amounts of glucogel? Yeah, I was taking 16 a day. I'm about 195 pounds, and I upped the ante because... In my situation, I had also had some knee pain. And when I looked back at my history, I could just trace calcium deficiencies all throughout my life. I mean, all throughout my life. So for three months, I took 16 glucogel a day. And then once I'd, I'd felt like things were recovering, I backed off. And now I'm at eight a day and happy as a clam. Another product that we like to have for people that have calcium deficiencies. I know for me, if I had a calcium deficiency, I'd take the Healthy Start, add the glucogel, and then one option that a lot of people fall in love with is the CM cream. Now, this was written up in the Journal of Rheumatology, even. Tell us a little bit about the magic of the CM cream and why somebody might want to add that. CM cream is called CM cream because it's made from a chemical derived from fish oil called cetyl meryl stolate. Cetyl meryl stolate is a fancy schmancy name for the biochemical in fish oil which puts out fires in the body. CM cream is anti-inflammatory without hurting the body. You know, I think in the medical world the most famous anti-inflammatory is cortisone and prednisone. Only problem is when somebody takes cortisone or prednisone, one of the side effects is that they gain tons of weight. And there are other side effects also when you take it for an extended period of time. It hurts your adrenal glands and a number of other things. The beauty of CM cream, no side effects. You can put as much as you want, and it reduces inflammation. So if you have arthritic elbows, arthritic knees, if you have any type of pain in your joints or even in your muscles, you can use the CM cream topically and it lasts for about four to five hours as an anti-inflammatory. It will really knock down the pain while you're waiting for the therapeutic action of the vitamins and nutritional supplements to kick in and support and promote the health and function of the joint. So when you rub CM cream, you can put it on sore joints, sore muscles, and does decreasing inflammation and increasing the circulation of those areas, does that help speed the healing process? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Absolutely, positively, you know, and this is one of the reasons why sports physicians or sports trainers will tell you that, you know, if you drop a rock on your foot or you sprain your ankle or you're a skier and you twist your ankle or whatever and you develop swelling, you need to put ice on it immediately because if you don't, the swelling can become a runaway train. And if the swelling takes off on its own, it's not good for the body and it will actually impede healing. A little bit of swelling is good for the body. But if the body takes off and gets too much swelling, it actually has a deleterious effect on the healing. So this is why we want to ice stuff when it starts to swell. This is also why we use CM cream to knock down the swelling and uh, speed up the healing. Now, another common deficiency we see is an EFA deficiency. A lot of people have dry cell membranes because you know the cell membranes are made up of EFAs and whether that's uh, dry cell membranes in your skin, your lungs, your brain, your heart, your arteries, you know, if you have EFA deficiencies, would you encourage people to take extra EFAs? Of course. I mean, this is the thing. It's really hard to overdose on any of this stuff. 
especially essential fatty acids. More is better when it comes to essential fatty acids. And in order to kind of up the ante a little bit, an add-on for an EFA deficiency illness is selenium because selenium supports the antioxidant ability of your body. Um, and that's a very good thing to do when you're trying to fight an essential fatty acid deficiency disease because most of the time an essential fatty acid deficiency results in some type of oxidative damage. Uh, liver spots and skin spots are perhaps the most common manifestation of this. Liver spots or skin spots are caused by EFAs in the skin that have turned rancid. And your body can actually move those away, get rid of them completely, if you increase its antioxidant activity, and you do that by adding selenium. If I had an EFA deficiency, I know I'd take the healthy start and add an extra bottle of that EFA 180 because with one bottle of that, I'm getting three EFA plus and six EFAs for nine a day, which Dr. Wallach recommends. And would you personally use about three selenium? Well, depending on the body weight, if you're 100 to 150 pounds, I love selenium. So I recommend everybody start with one bottle of selenium a month. There's 90 capsules in it, so that's three a day. You know, if you're over 180 pounds, not a bad idea to do two bottles a month. That's three capsules twice a day. You know, it's possible to overdo it with selenium. I've never seen anybody do it. So take as much selenium as you can afford, in my opinion. Another common deficiency or, let's say, imbalance that we see, we see a lot of blood sugar problems. And that can be anything from, you know, people feeling moody or depressed to, well, obviously, we see lots of blood sugar issues with uh, diabetes is a real famous one. And we can't ever say that the products cure diabetes, but we know you give your body what it needs and it will do some amazing things to help regulate its own blood sugar. So if you had a blood sugar imbalance, in addition to the healthy start, is there a product that you would personally take? Well, Dr. Wallach, being the genius that he is, developed Sweeties for that very purpose. In 1955, there was a medical doctor named MERS, and he proved that type 2 diabetes was caused by mineral deficiencies, the same way that scurvy is caused by a vitamin C deficiency and rickets is caused by a vitamin D, like David, deficiency. Type 2 diabetes is generated by losing minerals. Your body has run out of the raw material minerals that it needs to manage its blood sugar. It's not genetic and you haven't been cursed by God. So, being aware of that research, Dr. Wallach developed Sweeties in order to fill that nutritional tank back up in order to support and promote healthy function and healthy metabolism of sugar at the cellular level. I had a patient, 72 years old, type 2 diabetes for 30-something years. She went on Dr. Wallach's 91 essential nutrients, the Healthy Start Pack, with extra sweeties, and in three months, the type 2 diabetes was completely gone. We had optimized her blood sugar metabolism, and it was a fantastic thing to behold. I know the mechanism that we see with the blood sugar imbalances is often what they term insulin resistance, but it's essentially that the insulin can't effectively get the sugar out of the blood and put it into the cell because the receptors there, it's like the taxis, you know, which we're going to call insulin, go to the airport, they pick up the blood sugar and they go to drop it off, but it can't get off the freeway, right? Right. <laughs> And so well, I know when I use that product to make sure that uh, I kind of have those insulin receptors open before my insulin levels raise, I get the best results when I use that before a meal. Yeah, and that makes sense. That's the best way to take that product is about 20 to 30 minutes before you eat because if you do that, the body has the stuff that it needs to open those gates and let the sugar in. And if you don't, you don't. And so that's a smart way to get more bang from your buck when you're trying to overcome a blood sugar disorder. And I think here's a good place for us to mention. If somebody is on medication, 
for blood sugar imbalances, let's say especially if they're on something to lower their blood sugar. They need to be watching their dosage and as their body heals, they probably need to adjust that so they take less and don't put themselves in insulin shock. Is that right? Oh yeah, this, and this is a very easy thing to do because most people with type 1 or type 2 diabetes have been trained by their doctors to measure their blood sugar once, twice, sometimes three times a day and adjust their dosage appropriately. So this is easier than falling off a truck. All you have to do, add the 91 essential nutrients and the sweeties, clean up your diet, and just keep measuring your blood sugar. As the blood sugar goes down, which it inevitably will do, you just take less and less of your medication as you've already been trained to. And then, after a couple of months, go back to your attending physician. He'll do some blood work and probably stop your prescription medicine completely because you no longer have type 2 diabetes. I know that blood sugar problems are actually more common than I think most people believe. And one of the things that I know I use as a reference to see if, if I've got a blood sugar problem is whether or not I get sleepy after meals. And if you think about it, people that get sleep after meals, it's from low blood sugar. Well, how do you get low blood sugar after you just ate? Shouldn't your blood sugar go up? And the answer is it goes up and your body overproduces the insulin because it's not effective and drives it too low. And so those would be people that would be a great candidate for using the healthy start and adding the sweeties. I know that's what I do. Yeah, and Dr. Wallach's book, Hell's Kitchen, really goes into that in great detail. It's a fantastic book. I think everybody should get Hell's Kitchen and give it a read because blood sugar issues are a big problem in this country. And there are a number of ways that blood sugar issues show up. Getting sleepy after a meal, waking up in the middle of the night after only a few hours sleep, feeling wide awake, gaining weight around your abdomen that seems disproportionate to the amount of calories that you're taking, being moody within one or two hours after you've eaten a meal. Mood swings in general, we think about uh, blood sugar issues. So there are a number of ways that blood sugar problems can manifest uh, with subjective symptoms. It's a big problem in the United States. Another very common problem that's also one of those that's growing rapidly is people with digestive issues. This is a gigantic problem. Conservative estimates are that about 70% of Caucasians and about 85% of blacks have celiac disease, which means they have a gluten intolerance. If you have a gluten intolerance and you eat wheat, barley, rye, or oats, which everybody does in this country, you're going to have trouble in your intestinal tract. And in addition to that, if you're on a salt-restricted diet or you have a calcium deficiency, the stomach acid in your stomach is going to be too weak and that's going to give you heartburn. And if your stomach acid is too weak, you can't dissolve and digest your food appropriately. And if you're eating wheat on top of that, it's going to destroy the intestinal milieu and make absorption of nutrient-poor food even more difficult. This is a big problem, and everybody has it, because everybody in this country has been trained or just been socialized to automatically consume wheat, barley, rye, and oats like it's going out of style. Well, I know there's more and more talk about, you know, eating healthy means eating whole grains. But we have grains that are harder to digest than ever before because, you know, they done started in the 1960s, the new hybrid wheat crops with harder to digest proteins. And at the same time, we've had a decrease in our body's ability to digest these proteins because they're very pH specific, the enzymes that help break down these proteins. It's a big, perfect storm, really, right? So the wheat that's available now is not the wheat that's talked about in scripture or in the Bible or even in old texts, right? It's not the same stuff. The wheat that we have today is this monoclonal hybridized stuff that's been genetically engineered to be able to withstand drought and harsh weather conditions and grow in nutrient-poor soil. It's a very hardy strain of wheat. It's, not the, it's a man-made wheat. So the human body has not adapted to be able to digest and absorb that man-made wheat. Now, when you put man-made wheat into a stomach that has low stomach acid, 
it's not going to digest it, and it's going to cause tons of trouble. So if you had a digestive problem, in addition to having a gluten-free diet and staying away from wheat, barley, rye, and oats, are there any products that you would add? Yeah, certainly. So smart additions would be the ultimate enzymes in the Flora FX. The ultimate enzymes assist in the digestive process, and the best time to take the ultimate enzymes is about 15 to 20 minutes before a meal because the ultimate enzymes go into the stomach and they make the acid in the stomach more acidic which is exactly what you want to happen because the stronger the acid is in your body the easier it is to digest the food that you've just eaten now the flora FX provides all of the friendly bacteria that your intestinal tract uses to help digest and assimilate food. A lot of people don't understand that, that we have a symbiotic relationship with friendly bacteria that are living in our intestinal tract. This is a good thing because the body uses the fermentation process and the enzymatic activity of those beneficial flora to help us digest and assimilate food. We really couldn't live without them. I advise people take the Flora FX right before bed because the body can absorb it better and metabolize it better and it doesn't have to, you know, use all its energy in the digestive process. That's the best time to take the Flora FX, right before bed. And with the enzymes, two or three before each meal is right. what you typically see? Yeah, it's better, you know, it's, if you forget, better to take it than not to take it. Even you can take it after the meal and it's still going to help, but to get the most bang from your buck, 15, 20 minutes before a meal for the ultimate enzyme. Now, when we're speaking of digestion, this is also a good point to talk about. What do we do for people that are using the products and they've been using it, let's say, for a month to three months and they're not getting the results that they think they should get? I always say, first of all, I like to do kind of a three-step process on this where number one are you taking the right stuff because if you got a flat tire changing the battery doesn't fix it you know right. if you have a calcium deficiency and you're not using the glucogel you're not going to see the results right. of somebody using the glucogel so one are you using the right stuff number two are you using the right amounts and if you've got a flat tire and you know you need to put air in it you have to put in enough air to inflate the tire and it goes back to a lot of these if you have an EFA deficiency and you're not using enough EFAs it's not going to be enough to fix the problem, right? Right. And the final thing, which ties into what we're talking about, is absorption. Because it's not what we take that counts. It's what we absorb. And this is the big problem. I think this is uh, really something that we all need to collectively think long and hard about. Because all things being equal, the human body has a built-in ability to fix itself. All that it needs in order to do that is the raw materials necessary to do that. Longevity's 91 essential nutrients provide the raw materials and all of the Longevity nutritional supplements collectively provide all of the raw materials that the body needs to fix itself. So if you're taking all of the raw materials that the body needs to fix itself and you've hit a wall, the only thing possible is that you're not absorbing it. That's the only possibility. If you're taking enough every day, you're not absorbing it if you're not getting results. And the only reason that you're not absorbing it is because your intestinal tract has been compromised. The thing that compromises your intestinal tract is the consistent consumption of wheat, barley, rye, oats, fried food, oil in a bottle, well done meat, the skins of baked potatoes, yams, sweet potatoes, and nitrates in meat. When you say the skins of the potatoes, you mean when they're crispy, right? Yes, the skins of crispy potatoes that are baked in the oven contain a chemical called a heterocyclic amine, which is carcinogenic and pro-inflammatory. That does not exist if you boil the potato, yam or sweet potato. If you boil it, eat as much of the skin as you want. But if you bake it and it gets crispy, you can eat the meat of the potato but not the skin. So listen, if you've hit a wall with your improvement or your improvement is not moving along as quickly as you think it should, Clean your diet up, and you'll get remarkable results. I know one other thing that Dr. Wallach likes to have people avoid is carbonation because it depresses the stomach acid, as well as, I guess, caffeine, because, you know, caffeine tends to be something that acidifies the uh, 
blood, it means your body is going to have to use extra calcium to try to neutralize that, and you waste some, a lot of the value of your supplements. You're absolutely, positively correct. One of the worst things anybody can do when they eat a meal is drink a carbonated beverage, and that even means sparkling water, because the carbon dioxide in there neutralizes stomach acid, and if you have weak stomach acid, you can't digest anything. So it becomes a catch-22, right? So avoid all that stuff. Avoid carbonated beverages. Take the 91 essential nutrients appropriate for your body weight with the extra add-ons appropriate for your health concern and live long and prosper. <laughs> Great. All right. Even if somebody doesn't have any other conditions, to the healthy start, there is another three-letter word that Dr. Wallach likes to add. In addition to the BTT and the EFA, he likes to add the EGGs, right? Absolutely. The eggs. Why would somebody want to have eggs? And Dr. Wallach likes to say four to six eggs a day. Right. Well, there's a two reasons for our um, advocacy of the humble chicken egg. The first reason is because the egg is a perfect protein. As a matter of fact, it's the protein that all other proteins are compared to. You can't get a better protein than you can get from the chicken egg. That's the number one reason. And it's a complete protein. It has all the amino acids. It has everything that the body needs in order to metabolize it as well. For instance, if you were trying to get a perfect protein from rice and beans, you'd have to combine them and eat them together in one meal. But you don't have to do that with the chicken egg. All you have to do is eat the egg. And it's a perfect protein, 100% absorbable. It's just a fantastic economical, inexpensive way to get your protein needs met. And protein is very important. And guess what your immune system is made from? Protein. Your immune system is made from protein. So we need protein to stay healthy for many different reasons in addition to immune health. So the main thing here is protein. But eggs have a lot more to it than just the protein. I know one of the other things that Dr. Wallach likes with the egg is not the white and the protein, but it's the yolk. What's so magical about the yolk? Cholesterol. The yolk is loaded with cholesterol, and we need cholesterol. Cholesterol is an extremely important nutrient to the human body. It is so important that the liver makes it. And this is a big myth that we've suffered from uh, in this culture. It's a big medical myth that Dr. Wallach has been busting since 1972. In 1972, Dr. Wallach published a, pa a paper that showed there was no relationship between cholesterol and clogged arteries. Zero. There's none. It's a myth that cholesterol causes illness. It does not. There are no diseases that are caused by high cholesterol. Cholesterol is important to the human body for a number of reasons. Let's look at it this way. All of your sex hormones are made from cholesterol. All of your stress hormones are made from cholesterol. All of the insulation that wraps around all of the nerves in your body are made from cholesterol. All of the walls of all of the trillions of cells in your body made from cholesterol. And the kicker, the, the icing on the cake, 75% of the white matter of your brain, cholesterol. I think it's pretty important. So when we talk about healthy cholesterol, what are healthy cholesterol levels supposed to be? Well, Dr. Wallach recommends between 220 and 270 for total cholesterol. And if you're a postmenopausal Caucasian female, the research shows that total cholesterol over 300 promotes health and longevity. Over 300. Imagine that. So if somebody isn't able to eat, say, six eggs a day or more, but they want to get the cholesterol they need for their hormones, you know, whether it's an expected mother or a woman who wants to be more feminine or a man who wants to be more manly or a woman who wants to get pregnant or a woman that's postmenopausal, whoever, they could just focus on getting the yolk. Yeah, absolutely. That's where all the cholesterol is. So if you're suffering from things, medical or physical conditions or medical conditions that are related to not enough cholesterol and you can't stomach eight eggs a day, just eat the yolk because that's where the cholesterol is. And listen, eat chicken skin. Eat the skin. Throw the chicken away, as Doc likes to say. Have a full-fat dairy, full-fat yogurt, rare steak, butter. Cholesterol, cholesterol, and more cholesterol. Your body loves it. Your body needs it. And 
your body will regulate its own cholesterol. If there's not enough in the diet, it'll make it. If there's sufficient amounts in the diet, it'll stop making it. It will sort its own cholesterol levels out. If you have the 91 essential nutrients in your diet every day, if you've cleaned your diet up, don't worry about cholesterol. And I know the research shows that just eating more cholesterol doesn't raise the cholesterol in your blood, and eating less cholesterol doesn't lower the cholesterol in your blood because your liver makes cholesterol. Yeah, that's right. It's a package deal. Your body will sort it out all by itself. And this is the fundamental naturopathic principle that all of Dr. Wallach's research is built upon, and all of the longevity formulations are based upon the fundamental premise that if you give the human body the raw materials that it needs in the right amounts that are absorbable, your body will fix itself, and that's a slam dunk. And the best way to get those eggs are to make sure it's runny egg yolk, like soft boiled or soft scrambled. Yeah, that's right. We, we encourage people to prepare eggs soft scrambled in butter, poached or soft boiled. We want the yolk to be runny because when the yolk is runny, the cholesterol is 100% there. If you hard boil an egg and you see that green ring around the yolk or the yolk has turned green through and through, that means the cholesterol has been degraded. So eat your eggs soft scrambled in butter, soft boiled or poached, and don't forget to salt them. Now, one other product that I know we love to add to the Healthy Start, regardless of who it is, is this little brown square. <laughs> the people like to gobble up like it's candy. You know? Imagine that. Triple treat chocolate. What a fantastic product. What a testament to Dr. Wallach's genius and ongoing research by the Longevity Company. You know, in Dr. Wallach's book, Immortality, he showed that the blue zone cultures, the people that make it to be over 100 and they're healthy, one of the things that they have uh, stumbled upon in their diet in order to secure that is eating or drinking something that's loaded with antioxidants. Antioxidants are measured by something called an ORAC score, that's an acronym, O-R-A-C. The people in the blue zones were accidentally consuming stuff that gave them 20,000 ORAC points a day, 20,000 ORAC points a day. In the United States, we're lucky if we get 1,500 ORAC points a day. 1,500 compared to 20,000. That's why one out of 10,000 Americans lives to be over 100, while one out of 240 of their culture makes it over 100 years old, because they're consuming way more antioxidants than we are. So one piece of this triple treat, I know we say it has the antioxidant equivalent of about 23 servings of fruits and vegetables. From an ORAC score, how many is that? 16,900 and change. 16,900 points of, of antioxidant per one piece of chocolate. And let's not forget, it's chocolate. <laughs> Yeah, plus, it's got the probiotics that are great for digestive health, too. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a boom, boom. It's a great product because you get a lot of ORAC antioxidant stuff, and you get, as an extra benefit, the flora that your intestinal tract needs to stay healthy. I mean, what can be better than this? In one piece, one piece of chocolate, you're 3,000 ORAC points away from the 20,000 mark. Now, if you take the Healthy Start Pack, there's 5,000 ORAC points per two scoops yep. of the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. There's about 5,000 ORAC points. So one healthy start pack and one piece of triple treat chocolate, you're at 21,000 ORAC points, and that is a beautiful thing. Yeah, the only challenge with that is I have a hard time limiting <laughs> it to just one piece of chocolate a day. I mean, it means I had... 92 servings worth of antioxidants <laughs> just in handing those chocolates out. Well, you know what that means. You know, it's hard to overdose, right? And so what that means uh, is that you are going to live a long and healthy life because when you give the body what it needs, give the body extra antioxidants, clean your diet up, the body fixes itself. And this is our message. The body has the ability to fix itself. All it needs is the raw materials necessary to do that. So clean your diet up. 
take the 91 essential nutrients in whatever form your budget will allow, increase your antioxidants as much as your budget will allow, live long, and prosper.